But last week's SmackDown, last week's Raw, this week's NXT. We'll find out about this week's SmackDown. These WWE numbers are bad, and they will only be getting worse once the sports competition starts up. They That's sure your cue, will. Mike. That's I your know. cue for commentary here on this program. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think what I could really add to that because you pretty much said it well, all. Well, we'll just it, move on it, to it something all... else then. What would well, you think we... of this SmackDown show that did this this questionable number right here? You know, as I told you last night, I would not be watching that show. You know that. So that's why you went ahead and brought that up. I told you that before I did that show with filthy Tom Lawler, that I would not be partaking in such a show as SmackDown was. How was it? How was the bar fight? Was it everything that it possibly could have been to increase these ratings that may or may not be up due to baseball? Dude, it was a bar fight. What do you want? They fought in a bar, and that was it. The, the show was a little bit It was a little bit better than usual. It was not as bad as it's been the last couple of weeks. I mean, they actually gave they actually gave Matt Riddle a win, although it was over Tony Nese, and they acted like they actually said that Riddle had rebounded in a major fashion by beating Tony Nese. <laughs> the same Tony Nese that when the match started, the announcers had to explain to everybody who Tony Nese was. Oh, he's normally on two oh five live, they said. So a big rebound there for him. But he will be feuding with King Corbin. But King Corbin is putting out a bounty. So at least Matt Riddle apparently will be able to beat a whole bunch of guys before he inevitably loses to Baron Corbin in the first match of their feud. The segment with Morrison and Miz and... forget who else was in there. It sucked. Absolutely sucked. And Nikki Cross and Alexa, which Nikki Cross won... So now Nikki Cross gets another title match on SmackDown next week. But at least she won en route to this one. Bar fight was, it was all right. They worked hard, but it was a bar fight. And they announced that next week the Mandy Otis love story is going to continue. So at least Otis is alive. I was getting worried. He just vanished when everybody else vanished due to coronavirus. And then he never came back. It was like three, four weeks. And he is, I hate to say it, obese. And the number one, the number one, number one comorbidity for a bad outcome of COVID is obesity. So I was worried about Otis, but they say he's back next week, so apparently I guess he's all right. And then finally we had the the four-way winner facing AJ. It was Drew Gulak, Grand Metallic, Lince Dorado, and Shorty G. Who, by the way, Shorty G was the same height as everybody else in the match. In fact, I think he was taller than Lince Dorado. Of course, he didn't mention that. And he had a better physique than anybody there. But his gimmick is he's Shorty G. Anyway, he was the star of the match. AJ did commentary and put him over and said he was going to win. And everybody... Like, the whole match was built around him being the most impressive guy... And then, Grand Metallic won. So, the only thing I can figure is that AJ will beat Grand Metallic, and then they're going to do something with AJ and Shorty G. I could be wrong. Maybe Shorty G will be under the mask and beat him. I don't know. But, a lot of ways they can go there. So, that was SmackDown. And, if anybody else has any comments on SmackDown, you're welcome to tell me here today. Basically, what you're, it sounds like you're, you're telling me and everybody else out there who didn't see it is don't see it and just wait for you and Filthy Tom to review it. I didn't say uh, that. Coming up on Monday because it sounds like your review will be much more entertaining than anything that took place well, in that course mini review be. that you gave us. My review is always more entertaining. But the mm. show was better. It was absolutely, positively, objectively better than usual.